let's see how he how he does here. We're in grand finals now. Ashton having to win two best of five sets to take this tournament. From losers, Avery Man only needs three games. And I know Ape Man was hoping he would fight the snake, <laughs> but I know he can pull it through, man. And I know Ash can too. We'll see how both players can kind of manage it down here. 67 to 17. Yeah, that, uh, that could have been really bad if Ashton did an early up B. Yeah, and that's why we kind of see him go for that down air. I, I think every time Ape Man will do that, he usually does that once. And then I've noticed that it's to see if his opponent will fall for it. And then he'll go for it again. But if they don't fall for it, he changes it up. That's actually not going to be the stock. Rob has enough weight. He could do anything, man, either way. That'll do it. Catch. Yeah, Rob is way too big. These cows are going to, like, last even longer than normal. Oh, good on the cross, but unfortunately still able to get grabbed. And lag on that back, it'll kind of tough for him. <gasps> okay. Still alive. Ooh. This is up there? I like that. He waited. Oh, he waited. He waited. That was good. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people mix up their uh, match timing on that just so they can throw the Rob player off. Yeah. Like I'm if they know you're gonna do that, they can just up, up smash. If you don't, you know, mash out immediately. And I like that Ape Man demonstrates that. Oh man, the gyro got completely stopped by the boomerang. That's just such a rough thing for uh, Ape Man. He gets sets up so much of his neutral traps off the gyro working like that, but. There's a down air. And I commend that forward air attempt too, because he knows that if you get that double forward air, or I think it's two or three forward airs, he can get the robo arms, and then that's the stock. Oh. He's too far. He was too far off, yeah. I think he might have caught the jump, but it was way too far off. Well, that's all Ivy Man needed to get back in this game. Look at how safe that oh, down yeah, to him. Look at the safetyness. So good on using those jabs out of the Yeah, I really like the textures that uh, Ape Man is demonstrating right here. Oh! Watch out! Okay, he's gonna use the bomb to stall a little bit. <gasps> yeah. Oh, it doesn't what even a matter, dude. <laughs> Ape Man is too aware of catching that perfect timing on the down air right after the bomb explosion, before he could even start an up B. Yeah, so that's good. crazy. So good indeed. And it's because, like, the bomb exploded. He gets another RB, and Ape Man just called that out. Good, like I said, so good. Ape Man, yeah, Ape Man seems to have a down here. They game one. Y'all thought this man was sleeping, man, but he really be scheming. Ape Man's so good with Rob. And he has such a good mo mentality most of the time, too. Yeah. From he's what? Been from what I'm like, when I watch him play, I can tell that he's adapting to his opponent, even when he's losing. Yeah, yeah, and, it's, and I've, I've called that out too. Like, there's specific situations where he does things that test his opponent. If they don't fall for it, he rarely brings it back up again. Man, the man's a Smash Brawl veteran, dude. He's been doing this for a while. He knows how to build up habits and break them down. Very, very impressive. But uh, let's see. A Ashton has a decent handle on how he should play this matchup. Yeah. From what I saw. And that's the thing too here is Ashen definitely well aware of how to play the aggression with projectiles. And that's something that Young Lee can accelerate in the mid range. Is being able to be aggressive. From the mid range, back and forth. And you can see it here, fifty seven percent on this ROM, twenty five. That's an up air. Yep. No laser snipe there for Abe, man. Okay. Gonna find his way back to the ledge. Oh, another and instant hop down for Ashton into the up B. I think we should get it like a, a, a counter on that. I'm pretty sure he's got <laughs> at least like seven kills like that exact setup. 
We should do that as a challenge for the chat next time Ashton comes on. How many times did Ashton uh, get down tilt to up B, man? We'll give you a $5 Amazon card if you guess the number right. <sighs> Tough spot for 8 man, too, because that bottom hit. Sorry, the last hit of... Ooh. Oh, hold the phone, man. I can't even finish that thought process, man. I, like I said, look at the way the Ashton... Ashton popping up this game for sure. Yeah. Aiden it's is really struggling to get stuff started right now. Nope. Off stage, no laser snipe either. And no gyro. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, I lost it. Arm rotor oh. lasting forever. I like it. I like it. I'm looking to get the last hit too, because he knows that Asher's going to make that last second recovery and he's keen to call it out. Tough on him for going for the... See, I like that play there. I like that play. He goes for the gyro, tries to force the jump. Problem there, Ashton had no jump, and it was too early on the callout. This is an up air. Oh, nice. Right back there, looking for percent. Can he get the fire arrow? Yes, he does, but he misses it. Oh, man. Very fortunate that I didn't get spiked, but missing that up beat. Close, 90% here. This isn't actually out of the cards or out of the realm for Ape to actually make the comeback. Not at Reasonable. all, and that's, oh my god, that back here covers so much space and it's so strong. It's so strong, such a lasting hitbox, and pushes Rob, and even he covered neutral with Gyro, because if Ashley would have gotten up with that situation, I wouldn't have to worry about Gyro. If he jumped, he would have to worry about back air. Yep. Yeah, we already know the threat of a uh, Rage Rob with the Gyro, so uh, <laughs> not gonna count on Ape Man bring this back. Almost definitely. And we also know Ape Man when he gets a tech chase, too. <laughs> oh, don't give this man a tech chase. Alright, Ashton looking to play around this. Unfortunately, that roll have it. Kind of slowly coming out here. 42%. I saw that tech roll. Oh, for Ape Man. Gyro is, so big. Gyro is carrying Ape Man back into this game. He almost got the Gyro into a forest match. Would have been huge for him. But Ooh, nice. Ashton trying to finish this here. Yes, all the projectiles he needs. Oh. Nice okay, from Ashton. Gyro. Oh, great parry, though. And I like it, too. He comes back center stage. Don't give up the stage too much yet. Hold center stage and wait for the plays here. Ape Man looking for that laser to sneak in. Sets up the gyro just to hold the stage a little bit. But unfortunately, early on the up smash, still surviving that. 202% right now. Oh! oh yeah, his hurtbox. His hurtbox. His hurtbox is too tall. <laughs> the boomerang and the forward air. That hurtbox for Rob did not help him out. Ashton clutches that out, man. He was looking to lose that game. Ape yeah, very close, so though. Close. Yeah, very, very close. Very, very, very close. Like, it was literally looking to be Ashton's game to lose, because Ape and Man had literally brought that back. Literally, he needed that up smash confirm, and he would have gotten it. He was just a little bit off. Yep. But it was good on Ashton, too, and I called it out. He went back to center stage, and that's what you need to do. Rob will always set up those specific opportunities for you to hold shield or for him to buy himself back time and he'll be able to cross you up or come back on the stage or and those are situations where Ash just needs to hold center stage because he needs to be in a position where he can survive stocks from center stage here but game three here 8 man definitely was not out of the cards the man does his homework yeah I mean there's just so many talented young links online these days that I would imagine that Ape Man has gotten his fair share of opportunities in this matchup already, even though it's not easy for Rob by any means. Yep. Ashton always starting off each each match with these, the back air string. 73% not bad at all. Oh, not a 93, man. This is definitely not bad. Ashton with such a lead. You know Ape Man, you give him an inch, he takes a mile. And that down tilt, oh man, looking to kill, do the corner carry for him. Literally responding in kind. Oh, 
Almost. But another down tilt up B? No, he's okay, good. He's good. He's good. Oh man, these gyro, <laughs> these gyro plays from Avon man. And he's really good with it. He's... Catch him off. And there's the up smash, catching him jumping. And he's so good with it too, because he usually tries to fake it out that last second, or that he might Z drop it or throw it forward. Just because he knows if he can Z drop it, he can corner carry his opponents with it. Nice. Sneaks under that bomb. Ashton looking to hold the stage here. Excellent play with Boomerang. Build up that little bit of chip damage, poke through the shield, get that forward in here, put it up two stocks apiece. Hey man, it's trying to be careful, it doesn't want it run into too many of these projectile setups. You already know the Young Link's damage output, when he hits one of those, it's crazy. Ooh. That was hey. good for him to lead in after that uh, gyro confirmed. He saw that it hit him, went in for the cool oh. percent. Shield pressure here from Avon Man. Okay, gonna go low. You have a Nibel to find the down air in time. Oh my goodness, he's just throwing out the down tilts like, hey man, I heard you like to spam down tilt on shield, I can do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> my down tilt hits though, I get a kill most likely. Oh, up smash is very dangerous as well for Avon Man. Gotta recognize that Ashton's not afraid to throw that move out. Oh my gosh. Guys are just throwing everything at each other, missing. Ooh, I'm uh, surprised on that one. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna keep straight up on that one. Yeah. He got him. Off the stage. Nice. Force the low recovery. Can you find can you find the stock the stock? Yes. Two missed attempts, nope. but nice. Oh, great down great tilt. Great oh. down tilt from AB Man. I think I'm in perfect position for the down air. Oh no 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 Ashton Ashton what are you doing? What are you doing? Man Ape Bit Man does not give those out for free, my guy. Please respect the name. I don't know why, but when when Alpha does that combo it always works. But when I see every other young link try to do it, they just miss. Okay, but like, Alpha was actually trained by like Scizor and all these other like lane players. So he's, that man's been cooking for a long time. So I think he's just very confident in it. But yeah, it's hard. It's 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 a it's a, it's a huge gamble at, at times. You have to know when to do it at the right time. I actually just learned Alpha is nail from. So that's that's the crazy part. He, Alpha is nail. Who's Nail? Yeah, Nail is a very, very uh, specific link from Smash 4 that we never got to see, but he was very, very powerful. And then he changed his tag to Alpha, and um, he could never go to locals because of his young age at the time, but seeing him do Wi-Fi really well, I'm kind of not surprised that somebody told me he's Nail, and that's somebody that Scizor has trained. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I don't like losing the alpha. I wouldn't either, man. <laughs> but I'm not surprised. This man has been using Link for all of Smash 4, so Young Link is just better Link. Than, better Smash 4 Link, almost. Actually, I think he is better Smash 4 Link. It's literally what the character design is. Yeah, he has a lot of similar things. Still his own character, but we all know that he's based off Link. No, his age wasn't a requirement. He was just too young to travel. His parents didn't want him to play. Yeah, you know, if I don't think I was allowed to go to tournaments until I was like done with high school, actually. Same. I oh, actually, I was allowed to. I just did it. Oh my gosh, he died so early. What happened? He just held in, actually. Like he just held in to rob and got hit by everything. Oh no. Too early. Ape Man will take that punish. There's the tech chase with a down tilt. Yep. If you're gonna go for that arrow setup, you, you might as well go for a down air or nair. Like, it won't kill. Oh, down air might kill, but, uh, well, not, not 88, but you'll get the damage instead of missing an up B and getting hard punish. Yeah. Yeah, right now, Avian Man's kind of running away with this lead. 
almost gonna lap him in percent. Yeah, 104 to 83. And look at him, he's seeing pretty on the other side of the stage, man. He doesn't have to make an approach. Nice, he saves that jump. Ooh. It's the grab here. Up there? Yep. Yep, and he mad. He's gone. Even, well, not the super best DI, but not terrible DI. Yeah. Young looks just that light. Yeah, no, AV man. What a reaction, Looking too. So good right now. Up throw up air. Almost gets the laser snipe for good measure. Hey, Ashton, yeah, he's desperately trying to get this first stock here. AV man knows, making it so difficult. He knows he just needs one more stock to be considered the MSM Grand Champion. Yep. Ashton is struggling to land as well. Every option is getting covered at the ledge. Two almost gets spiked. Okay. Good no, good still good right up. Great DI from Avery, man. Just poke the ledge with these up airs. Oop, there's a gyro in play. Almost, man. He's missing these fully charged lasers. That was good. I was going to say, wait for the jump. Wait for the jump. Up smash out of shield. Very unsafe for there. Ashton just kind of swinging for the hills, hoping something connects. But Avery, man. Closing out this tournament in a dominant fashion. Three stocking Ashton in game four. And uh, 